Okay, DC here. Hi guys. A bit of an automobile vlog this morning. Just finished getting some gasoline, petrol, gas, whatever you want to call it, for the car. And I'm going off to get some dog food. Yeah. I go off into the countryside. There's a it's kind of a farmer's store. And uh, I, buy, I buy it there because I noticed once it was cheaper there than anywhere else. I mean, we're, when we're talking about going in dedicated pet shops, the same stuff is almost, well, about 50% when not more. Okay, you might notice my voice is a bit deep. I've had some type of a <coughs> sore throat. <coughs> some kind of sore throat and it's been bugging me last for the last few days. So my, yeah, my voice is a bit changed. What was I going to talk about today? I was reading something. No, I think I heard it on the radio. It was about hero worship. I found it was pretty interesting because it was like, what is worse when a hero falls? Somebody you really look up to and the person falls. That's one point. The other one was, how do you... How do you live up to somebody that's basically perfect, uh, almost God, so to say? Well, the answer to both of those questions, I guess, to both of those questions, is in one case, uh, you can't live up, and the second one is that it'll be complete disaster on your side, if anything, maybe complete delineation to 95%, 90% of the great values or things that your hero represented for you. Now, where I'm getting at basically is that being all, being all human beings with, you know, great traits and pretty bad ones, you can be a hero, so to say, but you're still, you're still somebody that's going to fail at one point or another, and it's going to happen. It's going to happen. So I guess what I, I come to realize out of all that is that there's no use striving. You know, I have to be careful because I, it might come out as the saying what I'm not actually saying. Striving for perfection, striving for good, striving for the best, yeah. Going for perfection, you can't achieve it. So if you go for perfection, you can be certain about one thing at least. You'll be disappointed. If you go for the best, you probably won't. The other thing is, see, sorry, I just see there's a lot of reflection coming into the, I guess the way the sun's coming in. Um, the other thing is that if you're looking up to somebody and you've realized that the person isn't, you know, perfection, the person can become an excellent mentor and it'll help you a lot. You might even, I mean, you'll, you'll define a completely different type of relationship to, to that person. I've noticed, I mean, when, you know, if you want to get into, I almost say Christian theology, you'd have to say, uh-oh, there's a, a detour. Work, the other working on the road. Yeah. Okay. Sorry about that. We're at a roundabout and there's a detour here. Okay. Where was I? Lost my track now. Yeah, goodness sakes, I have lost my track. Not on the road, but in my train of thought. Anyway, the thing was, is that I was talking about mentoring. Yeah, I know what I was. Is that, you want to put it almost in the, I'd say, a Christian type of perspective. And it does not have to be a Christian type of perspective if you, if the word makes you uncomfortable. But there is nevertheless the concept of forgiving your sins. Now, what that just simply means is a very simple thing, is, is admitting, admitting, 
and uh, your own doings, you know, admitting your failings. And there's, you can stay away from, from the Christian worldview if that really bugs you on that one. But, uh, yeah, I mean, if somebody is open with you, even if it's your mentor, or even if you are somebody's mentor, and you are ready to show, acknowledge to these people that you have failings, I think overall, in a relationship, it'll be bigger. It'll be a better relationship. Yeah. This detour is bringing me all the way around. I'm like, they do like five times further, because there's no shorter way. <sighs> well, you see, that's my failing right now. I'm being impatient. And I lost where I was in my vlog. That's a big failing. Look, guys, this weekend's a big weekend. Um, son of DC has his birthday on the 5th. And we're making a bit of a barbecue party with friends. And uh, Mrs. DC got a whole lot of stuff ready. And so Mr. DC is going to have to do a whole lot of things. And geez, no, I can't see myself anymore. Yeah, so it's going to be a big weekend. How am I getting as far as the video of time goes? <coughs> no, excuse me. Yeah, as you can see, I'm not quite up to my usual self as far as the voice goes. This is one terrible road. And, uh, yeah, so that was about it. So maybe I'll be back, maybe not. I'll have, even have to see what this one looks like because I see some terrible blending into the screen. And if that's the way it's going to look like, I might not put this one up. We'll have to see. Okay, guys, that'll be DC signing off. Take care.